Hey everyone, it's Gretchen. I'm going to offer you an exercise that might take a little, a little while, maybe up to 15 or 20 minutes, but I hope you'll enjoy it. It's not a nonfiction exercise necessarily, nor is it fiction or poetry or screenwriting. It's an exercise in um, developing or deepening your habit of attention, which is something all writers want to do um, and it's what makes our writing better and more insightful um, regardless of what genre we write in. So this exercise has four parts, okay? I'm going to ask you to do what's called a blind contour drawing, a modified contour drawing, and a revised contour drawing, and then I'm going to ask you to do a little tiny bit of reflection on the process. So this exercise comes from a book that I really like called The Zen of Seeing by Frederick Frank. And his strategy in here is not to teach people to draw, but to teach people how to um, pay attention to the world around them. And by paying attention to the world around them, <clears throat> become more <clears throat> grounded and become more creative. So I'm going to read you a little bit from the beginning of the book. He says, a non-creative environment is one that constantly bombards us. It overloads our switchboard with noise, with agitation and visual stimuli. Does that sound familiar? It's really familiar to me. Once we can detach ourselves from these distractions, once we can find a way of inscaping rather than escaping and centering ourselves, Magically, the same environment that was driving us crazy and distracting us then becomes a creative environment. So his theory of seeing and drawing is such a way of inscaping from the overloaded switchboard. He says it establishes an island of silence and allows us to recover the gift of undivided attention. So what he does is he asks his students to get a sketch pad, which can just be blank paper, it doesn't matter, and a pencil, and he asks them to go outside and sit down somewhere. Um, it could be on a chair, on a log, on the ground, it doesn't matter. And to um, let your eyes land on whatever happens to be in front of you. It could be whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You don't need to search for anything interesting because the whole world is interesting. Then set your timer on your phone for five minutes and close your eyes. Once your timer goes off at five minutes, open your eyes and focus again on exactly what is in front of you. Take your pencil, put the tip of it down on the page, but don't look at the page. This is really important for the blind contour drawing. Don't look at the page at all, okay? And then start to channel the essence of that object through your eyes, through your vision, down through your arm, into your hand, into your pencil, and lovingly pay close attention and caress the outlines of that object onto the page. Now you can set a timer for this for a couple of minutes, or you can just go until you feel like you've covered the contours. And don't worry about what it looks like. That's part of the whole point. Try as hard as you can not to look at the paper, not to look at what you're doing. Even if your, your pencil runs off the page, it's okay. Just bring it back again. Okay, so once you've done that, you've created a blind contour drawing. Okay, so I'd be very interested to see what your results are from this, and maybe some of you would like to post them to Slack. Then we move on to part two. Okay, part two is a modified contour drawing. So what you would do is you'd set your timer again if you wanted to for maybe two minutes or three minutes, and you'd go back to that same object, same pencil, different part of your piece of paper, and this time you're allowed to look at the paper, you're allowed to look at what you're doing, but don't take your pencil off the page. 
That's really important for the first one as well, and I forgot to say that, sorry. Don't take your pencil off the page. So for the modified contour drawing, again, you can look back and forth from the object to your page, but don't lift your pencil. It should be one continuous line. Okay, now that you've finished the modified contour drawing, um, you can do a revised um, contour drawing. And the revised drawing would be um, maybe a combination of the two of those, right? Where um, you go back or you create a new one and you go back and you use your pencil to create shading or you can use colored pencils to create shading and to really sort of bring the essence of this object to life. So those three, three drawings, three ways, not pictures, but ways of seeing, right? So the blind contour drawing, the modified contour drawing, and then the revised drawing where you actually add color and shading to, to, to give depth to this object. Part four of this is just to reflect. And one of the things I would love for you to reflect on is, was this difficult? And if so, why? And um, what challenges did came up for you? That's a really interesting thing to think about in terms of our creativity and what we allow our, what we give ourselves permission to do. And the other thing I would like you to reflect on is, um, which one of these drawings you liked best? Um, the blind one, the modified one, or the revised one, and why? And I'll tell you my experience. My experience is that I always like the blind contour drawings the best because they're the most creative and they have the most life. I haven't tried too hard. I've just opened the channel and let it happen. So I would be really excited to see what some of you come up with and hear what your responses are to this exercise. Thanks and take care.